Hi traders, today we're looking at Samsung Electronics, which is trying to break above key resistance. Now ultimately there's two scenarios to outline and it hinges around how prices react around this key resistance area. On the bullish side, trade tensions have de-escalated, which has allowed upside pressure on companies like Samsung. Now technically, an inverted head and shoulders pattern has formed and price is now testing the neckline and the pattern projects a target just above these 2018 highs. Although resistance is around 48,450, and these volume nodes show heavy trading activity around 50k and 51200, also making those potential targets. Now bullish momentum is currently strong and a small bullish hammer marks a swing low around 46400. However, this breakout is not without its obstacles. The day is yet to close, but currently prices are trying to break higher on low volume. So we prefer to see a daily close above resistance on higher volume at the very least before becoming too bullish on the breakouts, or even perhaps wait for a break above 48450. But where bears may become interested if we see a fail break on low volume or momentum shift decisively lower. For example, a bearish hammer or a series of reversal candles which cross back below the resistance area could warn of a bull trap. And bears could enter a breakout beneath 46400 for short positions. And if we look at the semiconductors ETF, it's also reaching a level of resistance. So perhaps we'd like to see a break higher first before confirming any bullish breakout. But also Samsung has failed to outperform this ETF using the one year relative strength metric. So bears could certainly build a case for short Samsung if this ETF fails to break higher, trade war tensions escalate again, uh, Samsung takes more notice of the trade spat between South Korea and Japan. Either way, however, prices racked around these current levels are now key between the bullish or bearish argument.